Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a very different style video than what I normally do on my channel, but I've had so many requests to share what I do on a normal basis, like for my makeup that I thought I would share today. I literally have no makeup on at all. I didn't prep my skin or anything yet, so I'm gonna go through everything. And I just checked, and some of my makeup that I use currently is on sale. But before I get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Karen. I make fashion and beauty videos like these on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see more, then definitely hit subscribe. And if you have not already, hit that bell below. It will like notify you whenever I upload a new video. Um, and give this video a like if you liked this video. So we're just gonna get started. I feel like this could be like a really nice like chit chat style video um, while I'm doing my makeup for like every day. This is like my everyday like kind of filming makeup. Um, this is just like what I would do on the daily. Sometimes I will do a little bit more natural and I'll just share like those steps when I get to that. But I'm filming in my bedroom today because um, I want to try to like be good about like explaining things as well as like chatting. So I kind of have to like balance the two. But I did apply this lip balm moisturize my lips and then I apply this um, this is a like newer Tula product it's the glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm if you're on Instagram you probably see a lot of people talk about it but I literally use this every day before my makeup and I'm just like and I use it on top of my makeup sometimes it's like an afternoon pick me up it just is what I need to brighten these under eyes I mean the other day I looked and they were like I had such bad dark circles under my eyes so definitely need this I've been filming in my bedroom right now because I um, I'm just priming my face right now with this primer I'll have everything linked down below for you guys um, so I'm just priming my face but I basically um, for the past like I think we're going on day six now of having a migraine this is like the best it's been since um having migraines i've never had a history of migraines before but last friday um i started getting like such severe pain in the back of my eyes to the point where i could not be on my computer my phone nothing i had to be in complete darkness and then it just kept coming in waves like since then i actually it actually got so bad to the point where i um had to go to the ER. So um, I actually thought it was like gonna, it was just like something else, like more serious. Like I wanted to make sure it wasn't that, like because it lasted for so long and because the pain was so intense that I was like, I better do something about this in case it's not just a migraine or something in addition to. It was scary, but luckily they said it was most likely just a migraine. They didn't find anything on the scans. So if you've dealt with migraines, um, Definitely like if you have any tips, I, asked, I know I asked you guys on Instagram stories, but if you have any other advice for me, um, just like what you like to do for a migraine, if you have migraines that are not fun, um, it could be extremely painful. So yeah, that's why I've been also like missing videos on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna get my foundation. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Foundation. And I am just going to use my foundation brush. I just have this Sigma this is a Sigma F80 flat kabuki brush. This is the foundation that is like so good um, for like just getting that full coverage without being extremely cakey, which I really like. And I'm using like half my viewfinder and my mirror over here on my vanity. Um, I'm in front of the window because it's the best light. But what I was trying to say about my migraines is that I didn't want to use any of my studio lighting today, like my big ring light and my box lights because I didn't want to irritate my eyes. I'm literally just in front of a window right now and using my vlog camera to film. Usually I would use my Canon like video camera, but like my Canon like big DSLR to film. That's like my usual. Oh my God, FedEx is pulling up and I have the window wide open. They're probably like, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> so awkward. Okay, so what was I saying? saying um just trying to blend this out too i don't want to make sure i have like any streaks on my face it's hard when there's like not a mirror in front of me but anyways yeah so i am filming on my little vlog camera today and i hope it's like the quality is okay um just because i'm not using my lighting and everything but this is the best camera to use if i'm not going to use any studio lighting because it just kind of adapts to the light. It's actually really cool. Yes, yeah, so I'm in my bedroom filming because of my migraine issue and today's been the best day so far since Friday, which is good. I'm hoping it's like on the road to recovery and this was like a one-time episode for me because yeah, I mean, I hope this isn't gonna be a chronic thing. But I'm in my bedroom and I mean, my background, 
so far i mean i really like the way like everything looks behind me but i feel like my bedroom like i know a lot of you have been asking for a bedroom review and i really want to do a bedroom review like a, like a bedroom tour for you guys to share like around my bedroom but the thing is is that like it's just not ready yet i am when it comes to home decor for me like i feel like i am never ready but this is like actually like not ready at all like it's very just the basics i feel like i have in this room like my vanity is pretty done i mean around the vanity like i would love to have some pictures and um i don't know just like pictures on the wall and stuff i just feel like it's very bare this room still like my nightstand i like and i like you know my bed still needs like a cute maybe like springtime throw because i have like this like heavy like knit like cable knit winter throw and i just feel like it's just too heavy for spring and summer so i, want, I am going to look for something like a little bit lighter than this heavy cable knit throw i don't even know if you can see it right here yeah it has like sherpa in it. it's really cozy but for spring and summer i just think it looks too heavy on the bed so i'm looking for like a light throw and i just got like that dresser um well i don't think you guys ever saw it actually i have a dress a new dresser in front of my bed area i mean i mean like I don't know everything is just kind of like not flowing cohesively as i would like to yet i just still am missing a lot of things in the corner over here i would like to get like an editor like a small editor and i don't know i just feel like i'm missing a lot of things i'm not gonna be doing the room tour i mean just to be honest with you guys like anytime soon so it's just not gonna be ready and like i'm gonna be traveling for a little bit in april so maybe i'm hoping by end of april i could show you guys um and then i also oh geez i just need to explain to you guys that so i'm using this maybelline concealer i get it from the drugstore it's inexpensive and i've been using this for so many years and the tarte shape tape is i do have that and when i started using that you guys noticed that i had like really like light under eye area and i think i think because like on video it like looked really bright and white under my eyes like too white for me i still don't even get the lightest shade in the tart shape tape but for some reason it just like is appearing really white on camera so i don't even use that one anymore even though it is an excellent concealer like if you want to cover any amount of dark circles of that will get it um it's just that you have to find the right shade and there's a million shades i feel like so i just would still love to try to use that but like i think i just need a different shade okay next i'm gonna set my under eye area i just have this like eco tools brush and i just blend that underneath now a new added step into my makeup routine and this is part of the sale which i was so excited to um because it's like 15 percent off a bunch of like a wide range of cosmetics um so this one was on sale and basically i have been loving i know this sounds crazy but i love like doubling up kind of like on my foundation but i kind of when i if i use my laura mercier silk cream foundation then i'll just use this as like a light dusting powder on top to kind of like get the whole look together like it kind of like sets everything um but if i'm not wearing the laura mercier silk cream i will actually just use this as a regular foundation it's the bare minerals just original foundation and i'm in the shade i was matching the shade medium beige which i feel like is kind of dark but like i did tell her like the lady i was like well in the spring and summer i'll be using like a lot of fake tan like self tanner i don't like saying the word fake tan but you know um self tanner and i'll just put a little bit in the lid and i have this sl miss glam brush and this is the flat powder brush the wp10 and it's white and pink and i love it so much and she sent it to me and i was so excited when she sent it to me because her channel is amazing i will link her brushes down below um but she makes really cute brushes the i mean the packaging on them is so adorable and her brushes are so soft um but this is what i use to set my powder really quickly i want to say i'm going to go in with my one of my favorite contours it's charlotte tilbury and it looks like this and as you can see i love it so much and i just take this sigma large angle contour brush at 40 and i just apply that underneath my cheekbone I feel so bad about this lighting you guys i hope it's bright enough for you guys um, because i don't want to ruin my eyes though and i don't want to make this vlog all or this like tutorial all about my migraines i even thought about like not really wanting to focus on it but like sometimes I like, cause I always want this to be like a positive place for you guys. Like when you come to my videos, I want you guys to leave feeling good. And like, 
uplifted or like if you're having a bad day like I hope to even put a little bright spot in your day and that's really why like I started this channel is because I love helping people and like when I was like sick with my Crohn's disease like I always found like joy a little bit of joy in my day or get my mind off of situations um, by watching YouTube videos it like, just even for 10 minutes like it gets my mind off of something and you know I don't always want to come on here you know with like a heavy subject like a medical issue or something but at the same time I think it's good once in a while like I think it's important for youtubers instagrammers to get real with their followers because at the same time like we are regular everyday people like you guys and we have pro like ha things that happen in our lives and i think it's important to share that too but i do like to though keep it more on the positive like uplifting side but at the same time i want you guys to know too like why i'm not filming on my regular schedule and stuff like that so that way you don't think i just like randomly don't want to upload like i you don't even know how bad I wanted to upload and film and do all that stuff and interact with you guys. I couldn't even comment on my Instagrams because I was so bad. But anyways, yeah, I always, like, this is why, like, I made my channel. Because when I was sick with my Crohn's, like, in the hospital even, like, watching a YouTube video would just take my mind off of, like, I didn't even feel like I was in the hospital for that 10 minutes that I was, like, focused on that video, if that makes sense. I don't know maybe that makes sense to some of you or maybe not I don't know but it, it did to me and like that's why I just even love or even if you don't have a health condition but whatever you're going through in your life and I just always want to inspire people to always like look and feel their best and I don't know I just I just love doing that for you guys so I got a little deep there but um yeah oh we have to go into bronzer um so I bronze with a very same brush it's just a different like brush itself um, so the same is the F40, if I remember, yeah, F40. I go in with this bronzer, it's Laura Mercier, and this is the color. It'll have all like the color information and stuff. This is part of the sale too. Laura Mercier is part of like 15% off, which is insane. But it's like, you're, if you could only have like one, if you could only use like say one brand of makeup, which one would it be for you guys? Because... If I had to pick, because based off of like how much, all the brands that I use, like the most common brands that I have the most products are, are probably like Urban Decay, Laura Mercier, Charlotte Tilbury. So I'd probably pick from one of those. I do some blush. I don't know, I probably would say Laura Mercier or Charlotte Tilbury or Urban Decay just because, well, first of all, all those brands, like I love their packaging. It's so classy and so like girly. Um, and they make a lot of my favorite products. So I'm probably like not even thinking of some other brands that I also love, but overall, I don't know. What would you guys pick as like your number one or like Mac, I guess, but I don't really use like, I wanna get into some of their like other products, but I don't, I only really use their like lip products. So for me, like I probably wouldn't go with them for like my whole face. And now for highlights because Highlight is honestly such an important step because I feel like it can give someone that like Hollywood glow like that, you know that red carpet look like that glow on the cheeks. I just feel like It just instantly Like could you see that you could see that right there like That looks so much better. I don't know. I just think it pops the lighting may make it look even more dramatic than what it is, but it's that good. And if you want to make it even more dramatic and you want to look like you're getting ready to walk down the red carpet or something, I don't know. Um, you could spray, and I've done this the other day and my highlighter looked so on point. So I use this MAC Fix Plus spray. I will spray it like onto the brush, dip it in the highlight, and it will give you like an extra pop on that highlighter like if you even have like a less expensive highlighter and it's not really showing up for you use like some kind of spray we're gonna go on to the eyes which is always like one of my most asked questions is how i do my eye makeup so i'm gonna share with you guys um so we're gonna use this spray and i just fan my face and i don't know what is in here that makes my makeup last all day long but it does something to my face and it's amazing i always feel like so bare without my eye makeup we're gonna do brows let me i have to go over to my container and get my other products okay so i don't want this video to become too long for you guys like i don't want you to sit here all day 
um but i do at the same time like want to explain everything to you guys and be thorough because in the past like i've shared eye makeup tutorials and i feel like it's when it's with music sometimes it's like you can't get the gist of how to exactly do everything all the time so i really want to make sure i explain this time and i can always refer you guys back to this so just very light strokes this is my anastasia brow pencil i want to say this is part of the sale too i'm pretty sure and then i just like do light strokes and then use the other end and then just brush it through it's literally you can't do any wrong with this pencil i mean unless you press too harshly just very like the lighter the better you could always go over it again if you want it to be a little bit darker but it's harder to take away than it is to add so that's how i always feel with makeup you could always add some but it's hard to like take it off because then it like ruins your whole look next we are going to go on to eye primer i'm not going to bore you guys with eye primer i mean i just literally use this all the time and i think it's so important to use eye primer especially if you have like oily eyelids or if your eyeshadow creases all the time you need this it's the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion okay so for eyeshadow we are going to use my holy grail eyeshadow palette like if you don't know what kind of eyeshadows to start out with and you're like either a beginner or you are advanced and you've been doing makeup for many many years and you just want that everyday go-to palette this is it and this is on sale so I think it comes to around like the low 30s like 30 dollars or something close to that after the 15 percent off which is incredible and these colors are so wearable and they make it really easily like laid out so you could like kind of do each look depending on what you're looking for um so for my eyes i'm gonna use this sigma brush it is the eye shading brush e55 and I'm just gonna go in with the shade Silk Teddy. It's right here. Isn't this palette so gorgeous? I mean, we have to talk about the packaging. It is so girly. Like it's right up my alley, like with this whole like, I don't know. I just love like the girly, slightly vintage look. It's so pretty. Okay, so I just like pat that Silk Teddy all over my lid. And I go up into the crease area. Your crease is gonna be like if you were to open your eyes, it's like right in this area here. So I am just gonna apply that all over the crease, up into the crease. So like over basically your whole lid. Okay, so both eyes are done. And then we go into the crease color. Don't be scared about a crease color. It's actually super simple to do. So you can use one of two brushes. If you already have like a MAC brush, MAC, um, this is rubbed off, but I believe it's 217. And then um, this is um, in a Sigma. It's very, it's like the dupe for it. Sigma blending E25. Either one, I actually um, use the Sigma most of the time. I think it's a softer brush and it blends for me a little bit better. So we're gonna take this shade right here. It's Espresso. It's this matte dark brown color. And I just like pat like twice. I don't actually want it to be too dark, especially if it's a daytime look. Then I will just... You know start in this corner here like right here in the crease and then when i first put it on i might like dip once or twice back in but when you first put it on it may look a little harsh don't worry about that just first get the color applied into the crease like that so you could start building up you could literally build but i would start out lighter and that way you could always build on top of that but we're just going to keep blending into that crease and blending is literally you can never over blend <laughs> Um, so it's always best to over blend than it is to under blend and have like blotchy eye makeup. And as you can see, I'm working that into my crease and building that color little by little. Sometimes I'll even take this cashmere bunny shade. It's kind of like more of like a neutral color that helps me blend a little bit more. Um, I am by no means an artist. Like I'm, like, I'm not claiming to be an expert on this. Like this is literally what I do. And I actually, this is like one of my most asked questions is my eye makeup. Even when I'm going out shopping, like some people just stop me out and like compliment my eye makeup or ask me what palette, like what eyeshadows I use. Like this is literally my most asked question. <laughs> so I'm just telling you how I do it. I don't have a rhyme or reason. I didn't even learn this from anybody but myself. Um, I had this palette, not this exact one. I've repurchased this palette already like twice now. Um, but I've had this palette since like, High school so that's how long I've been loving on this Too Faced palette okay so I just finished the other eye in the crease and then I didn't want to bore you guys and 
you know, take too long. So I went ahead and I also added with that same six espresso shade that we first used that matte dark brown. Um, I took this Sigma, this is the short shader brush is E20. This is what's gonna get you like that smoldered, like smoky kind of, not really smoky. This isn't really a smoky eye at all, but it gives you like that like soft diffuse like shadow. Does that make sense? Like on like a liner under your eyes. So that's what I always do. It's like my secret to looking a little bit more like polished and finish out the eye makeup because I feel like without it, I look really bare and like on done. So I do have to say like that step is important. Um, you literally don't have to go over your entire eye. Like I literally put it on the outside and then just like kind of like where the like my pupil would be. Um, yeah, so just kind of like towards about the outer two thirds. That's what I did. And then now we're gonna go in with an eye pencil. I have lots of different favorites. The one I'm currently, I just go like with whatever I'm currently using that I like. I mean, I am picky about it for sure, but I do have some favorites. Like Urban Decay makes a really good one. Um, if you're looking for that on sale, um, here it is actually. Um, Urban Decay 24-7 light on pencil but i'm using this one currently um it's the charlotte tilbury rock and coal rock and coal pencil and it's really mini i got it in this like mini set they sent me for the holidays and i really like it i have to say it's really cute and this is in the shade bedroom black they're like there's so, i love their like whoever does their marketing i'm just gonna lightly stroke it i don't want it to be like harsh for every day that is Everything as far as that goes. And then I just have um, my mascara and then lipstick. Lipstick is my favorite and I'm gonna get to that in a second, but mascara. We have to talk about this mascara because it is like one of my favorite mascaras I've ever tried. And that's saying a lot because I've tried a lot of mascaras. So this is my favorite mascara at the moment and it is by Hourglass. And I have to say it is incredible. Like it is well worth the money. It is definitely, I don't wanna say investment, cause like invest, well, it is definitely up there in price. I don't know, my lashes aren't as full as they used to be. So I definitely need some help in that department. And a lot of times if I'm gonna film, I will definitely put on falsies. I do not have any falsies on right now. Like literally you could tell I don't have anything on. Wow, that's really up close. I will do about two coats. Now that I'm doing a lot of the core spring videos that I wanted to do for you guys, like, are there any videos that I haven't done yet that you want to see from me? It could be seasonal, like spring or summer related that you want me to do. Like you could tell me now, cause I like to plan a lot of things in advance. So if you'd like to see anything for spring and summer, I would leave that below because I would love to hear your suggestions on, or like what you guys want to see. I mean, just like, what would you guys want to see basically lifestyle related or if it's fashion or beauty, like you want to see more videos like these, or would you want to just see these kinds only like once in a while? So I just love to hear your feedback on what you guys want to see from my channel. Um, I know a lot of you come on my channel from like, a try on haul video because I do a lot of those on my channel. I think I just love doing them though because I know they are so helpful. I get so much like great feedback from you guys when I do them. Like so many of you say to me like or you'll message me on Instagram saying like you really helped me like find an outfit for this event or whatever it was. And that like makes me feel so good inside. So I always want to share like or if you guys love this particular store you get to see like what I would pick and you guys get to see like the reviews before you would buy and have to return it or something. So that way you guys already kind of know ahead of time what to expect. I don't know. I find them really helpful. I like I would want to keep doing them for you guys. So if you like them too like just let me know. I would just love to hear what you guys want to see, what you want to see more of or less of. Um, I'm open to whatever you guys, I'm just, you guys could leave that down below because I would love to know what you guys want to see. So I want to continue the try on videos, but at the same time, I don't want this channel to just be all about try on videos because there's a lot more to me, I guess and my life and what I want to share with you guys then just try on as much as I love them. Um, there's so much more also like, I don't want to get too deep in this topic because I could do a whole video on this, but also just like there's so much more to life than, you know, and there's so much more to me as a person than a try on or clothing or designer handbags or whatever it is, like there's so much more. Okay, so I finished my mascara. I'm actually gonna go super close so you guys can see 
the difference um this is no lashes nothing and then i did underneath my eyes too so that is my complete eye look and now lipstick lip pencil everything like that so typically i'll use my chanel number 118 lipstick you guys if you've been following my channel you know i love that lipstick um and i'll do like the chanel gloss on top and i love that and that is definitely for me like that was like my winter go-to now that spring is officially here although the weather isn't that way right now but spring is here and i want to feel more like spring and look more like spring um i definitely want to switch up my lip color or something different so um I'm gonna try something new today. Charlotte Tilbury actually sent me, this is not sponsored or anything. Charlotte Tilbury sent me um, a bunch of lip products and because I'm doing a like new series, which I'll, be, I'll tell you guys first, I'm doing a new series on my Instagram soon. So that's like a little hint about, I didn't, I'm not gonna say exactly what it is, but um, I'll let you guys be the first to know though about it. Head over to my Instagram and follow me there if you want to. Stay tuned for that because um, it's going to be really cool. It'll be some uh, series throughout the month of April. That's all I'm going to say for now. But um, yes, um, I'm though they sent me a bunch of products over. And I actually got to pick them out. So I just picked out some stuff that I saw on their website that I've been wanting to try. And I'm really excited. So Charlotte Tilbury did gift me these lip products. But um, I did pick them out myself. And um you guys know I always give my honest opinion on everything. So, um, yes, I'm going to do this lip cheat pencil. I already use their lip cheat. I already use their lip cheat in pillow talk. It's right here. Um, it's like a very, it's like one of their number one sellers, but I want to try a new one. This one is in pink Venus. So I'm going to try this one out and then I'm going to top it with, um, another new color and with like one of their top rated colors. So I'm really excited to try. So we're just going to line the lips. So I have the lip pencil and then I have this new color that they sent me. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous like rosy color and it is in Secret Salma. So let's apply this. I want to say is this matte? Yeah, it's a matte revolution lipstick. And I did, by the way, like wipe off the lip balm I had on earlier because I want my lipstick to actually like stick well. Okay, this color is gorgeous. I love it so much. This is like the perfect spring color. I could probably use it actually a little bit more on my top lip. So pretty. I love it so much. This is gorgeous. So this is Secret Salma, if you're interested. This is like more on the matte side. Sometimes lately I've been loving like, um adding like a little bit i am usually not a gloss person at all and ever since i started using that chanel gloss like over the winter time i am back into glosses and loving them so i am gonna add this one on top charlotte tilbury i picked this one out on their site and this one is called hall of fame let me see i don't know if it's gonna go with this though so let me just see really quick i'm just gonna swatch it on my hand oh it's just very clear so It'll just give me that little bit of extra hydration if I want it. So I'm gonna add this on top. I'm not gonna do like a crazy amount. I love the gloss on top too. This is like, don't let this like color scare you because it's kind of like orangey, but it's like more so just clear than anything. So that is my whole makeup look um i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up and let me know as i said let me know your thoughts on any upcoming videos that you guys want to see oh also i'll have everything that i talked about every single product my outfit details i'll even try to link my decor that i can like everything that i can that will be linked in the description box below for you guys and i think that's it and i will just see you guys in my next video very soon Bye.